Hello everyone, welcome. No, your eyes do not deceive you. Today we are storing photo cards. I know it has been a very, very, very long time since I've last done one of these videos. I am long overdue. I've needed to do this for like a year at this point and I just kept putting it off for one reason or another. So we're finally doing it today. I put it off for way too long and now this is this is where we are. So today we're going to focus on um, some of the earlier album photo cards, my Japanese collection. We're going to update my Chan A5 binder and then we're actually going to start my little mini collect book. This is the collect book from the second generation fan club where we're going to be setting these up and putting oh <laughs> some photo cards in I left some I was testing out sleeves earlier so I, these were left over in there but yeah we have a lot to do today hopefully it should be a fun time I also want to quickly preface and put a little disclaimer um, I am currently going through it. <laughs> Your girl's having kind of a hard time right now. Um, hence why I am in my pajamas. <laughs> it just, it just called for the occasion. Um, but yeah, I haven't been feeling super well. I haven't been doing super well recently. If my mood throughout this is a little bit up and down, that's kind of why we're just going through it. So today's going to be super casual, super chill. You know, it's just a just a couple of besties storing some photo cards. So, yeah. I had meant to film this video about a week ago and then everything just kind of hit the wall. Um, but I'm feeling a little bit better, but I need I just need something to distract myself. So that's why that's why we're doing this right now. <laughs> So yeah, hopefully that, that made sense. Please bear with me, but I still hope that you will enjoy the video. So let's go ahead and get started now. Let me just throw this in here. So yeah, so like I said, the first thing that we're gonna work on is album photo cards. So I have my stack here. It's mostly up until Christmas Evil, and then we'll jump into all the Japan stuff. But so I have my early album binder here. All right, so our first couple of cards are from I Am Who and I Am Not. So let's just flip to that. Uh, very quickly though, I wanted to stop and talk about these cards because one of you actually gifted them to me. You were so, so sweet. Michaela actually reached out to me when was it? Right after the holidays? Um, and asked if she could gift me some of the photo cards that she was letting go from her collection. And I w was so shocked that she wanted to gift these to me. And I was like, are you sure? And she, she insisted. She knew they were going to go to a good home. So thank you. Thank you so much again, Michaela. She also has sent along um, Ayan and Changbin's mini posters from... I am who. I was gonna put these away as well today, but as I was getting the sleeves and everything prepared, I realized I'm out of one pocket pages, so I can't put these away today, but I will as soon as I get pocket pages, but thank you also for sending these along. But yeah, I, I just thought it was so sweet that she she wanted to gift these to me. I don't feel like I was worth it, but I will definitely hold on to them and cherish them and they will live and they're home sweet home in my binder, so thank you for that. So, I just wanted to mention that really quick in case she sees this. So we have this unit card, and I'm actually gonna put this here. So I decided that I'm actually not going to collect the childhood baby card photos. I just, in general, was never the biggest fan of the baby cards, and I don't know, for me, there's just something a little bit off about collecting them, just in my personal opinion. So I decided that I'm not, gonna, I'm not going to collect them. The only reason I have Chan's is because I pulled his and it's just so damaged from my, my album I got him in. I've just held on to him, but I'm not going to collect all the other members. So 
what I've decided instead is I'm just gonna do like a full page of units from I Am Not and I think I actually have yeah I was gonna say I thought I had another one back here so yeah instead we're just gonna collect one page of units from I Am Not instead so go ahead and put this in here this is a nice start to my little unit page <laughs> And then I'm just going to take this out and replace it with a blank one so it doesn't say childhood anymore. And then let's just flip the order. All right. Yeah, I think that's a good decision. That's a good decision for me. So we have units. All right, next let's go to I Am Who. You can really see how much I desperately need to work on these older albums. I'm okay until I get up until like Levanter and then just anything before needs so much help and attention. But so we have Felix's Behind card and I love this. I don't know if like everyone has noticed this, but I love that you can see Jisung's in the back <laughs> like Jason is taking a photo in the back of Felix was behind I feel like that's such a funny it's such a funny Easter egg so we have Felix and we have uh Ian's behind cute and then we have Sungman's self portrait I should just keep this white filler behind. I should cut better ones so they're not as wonky. But yeah, there's that for I Am Who. And then we have one card for Miro. Just this random <laughs> Jung card. That's one of the goals is this year. I think I said that last year though, but one of my goals is to really work on some of these older albums or I usually am super good with like the most recent albums it's just I have a hard time with my older collections so there is the start of the purple border for Miro man these pages are just so sad we're gonna work on them they'll, they'll get there eventually we'll work on them all right, and then these, these are actually quite exciting. I didn't know if I was ever gonna get Blinticulars, but I found some sealed Levanter Limiteds a while back, and Minsung are who I pulled from them. So I'm gonna go ahead and put them back here. I don't know if I'll ever get the rest of the members. I would love to finish this set. But it's not my biggest priority right now. It's just kind of like a little dream I have is to eventually have all the Levanter lenticulars. But for now we have Minsung. And I'm just gonna put them put them on their their one page. <laughs> it works for now. I don't even really know how well the lenticulars capture on camera. I assume not very well. All right, and then go live. We have this Lino and this Felix, and I think I'm gonna have to look at a template to see which black version this goes to. One second. All right, yeah. So they're both they're both from this first set. All right, cool, cool. All right, and then for No Easy, we have this pop set that I need to put away that I've literally been holding on to for so long. It's been like a year at this point. Is No Easy, No Easy's not even in this binder. All right, let me get the other binder. All right, here's where No Easy is. Guys, I have like three album binders at this point <laughs> and it's just because I do this where I store literally anything and everything that came in the album. <laughs> Alright, 
here we go. Here's my pob section. Where would these best fit? I kind of want to put them first because they're like my favorite set. But would they look better after this? Maybe I'll put them in the middle. Alright, I need to grab a nine pocket. are all out of order. <laughs> I still can't believe I have my hands on this with drama set. It's like when I saw this for sale when I did for like the price it was I was like yeah if I don't get this now I will never have this set. So I'm very thankful I saw it pop up when it did. I would love to have the no easy set of with drama or at least like one of them but that's definitely a pipe dream that is never happening i like never see those for sale and i definitely never see them for sale in a set which is the only way i would buy it it's a dream that i can dream for now <laughs> that i can hold on to keep my delusions alive a little bit this this mino card it's devastating. So cute. Alright, so there's that. I'm going to need to make a filler for this eventually, but for now we'll just do that. But yes, finally this with drama set is stored and has a home. <laughs> That's the bad thing about like not storing photo cards for a year is all of my collection has just been like free floating around and it's just kind of scary. <laughs> I need to stop doing that. All right, next Christmas Evil. Oh my gosh. So <laughs> I can finally finish out, finish out my Christmas Evil collection. This has been finished since like December of 2021. I just haven't put these cards away. But finally, this will look complete. <laughs> Again, I need to make fillers. That's honestly one of the reasons I like have put off storing photo cards for a long time is just because I need to make fillers, which sounds silly, right? Because I'm like a graphic designer and like making things is what I do. But for some reason, I really struggle with creating and making things for myself. Um, I don't know. It's kind of... It, I've always been like that, though. Like, when I was doing my portfolio in college, and I was, like, creating a brand for myself and trying to come up with, like, a logo for my website and for my personal use, I, like, struggled for the longest time. And eventually like just landed on something because I needed something and I like hate it. I like hate it to this day. I never use it. But I just really struggle with like making things for myself and I think that carries over into like making photo card fillers because it just feels like a personal project I have to tack on. But slowly we're working through it because I want to do like a whole collective storing of Audinary and Maxident and that's really the holdup with those videos is I just like didn't work on the fillers and I know I could like post those videos and not have the fillers ready but everyone loved the no easy storing video I did um like I still get comments on it to this day of people talking about how much they like how I store my photo cards and like the fillers I make so I feel like I've kind of like set an expectation for myself that like I need to have these beautiful fillers made when I do my huge um era storing videos um and that's just like a pressure I put onto myself and that I kind of want to uphold which you know is maybe not the healthiest but like I said we're slowly working through it I have started working on those fillers and started printing some of them so 
we'll get those collection videos up going but yeah as far as these fillers I'll get to them when I get to them <laughs> I'll just focus on making fillers on things that need them like newer newer albums anyway that was a little bit of a rant that is gonna be all of my normal album photo cards those are all I have for today so now we're gonna work on my very small Japan collection and talk about what we're gonna do for that okay so currently this is where my <laughs> Japanese photo cards live. They li just live in this big conglomerate binder with a lot of random things in here. But I kind of want to separate out um, my photo cards as I start to reorganize everything. And I kind of want to have a separate Japan binder from everything else. So I'm going to take out the <laughs> small quantity of Japanese photo cards I have in here so they live in their own little binder so I just have a couple here and then we have the Japan or the Stray Kids Cafe stuff back here all right and then we'll deal with the contents of the rest of this binder another day. This is another one of my organizing projects I'm gonna work on here soon. All right, so this is the binder that I'm going to store my Japan photo cards in for now. Fun fact, this is actually <laughs> my very first photo card binder that I used. This tiny, tiny little thing, could you even imagine, was what I started out with with my, co with my collection. I'm pretty sure in my first storing photo card video this is the binder that i pull out you can go back and see it but uh since my japan collection isn't very big and i don't anticipate it getting very big very fast i figured this was the perfect size that i could use for right now so let's just put these pages in Well, let's leave this out because we're going to talk about this. All right, so let's talk about my plans for my Japan collection. So I have two sets, as you can see, of the like trading card sets that they put out occasionally. And then I have a, the most recent ones, the, mo the two most recent ones from the Maniac Tour. So my plan is is I'm going to collect the trading card sets that come out each time that they come out because I kind of like these sets. Um, I like that they come with nine cards and they're really easy to store and they're usually pretty inexpensive and I like to, I don't know, collect them for that era. So I'll, going forward, I'm going to collect all of these trading cards and then for albums, <laughs> these are the only Japanese photo card album PCs that I have and for a long time I didn't know if I wanted to collect Japanese photo cards. One because I like hate the size that they are. I don't know why they're this long rectangular size. I don't know why they can't just be like this normal size. Like Stray Kids seem to be like the odd ones out where like <laughs> they're the only ones doing these weird obtuse PCs and they're just like not my favorite. Another reason is because Japanese photo cards are like super expensive and the albums themselves are also expensive and you usually only get one photo card per album so you're spending like $30 on one album for one photo card and it's just it's a struggle to collect OT8 that way. So basically for all in and scars i basically just kept the polls that i got from my albums but i think what i want to do is i still want to collect ot8 but i have to be like a little bit realistic with myself and with my budget i think i've decided that i'm only going to collect one full pocket page of ot8 per album so i'm still going to have japanese photo cards and at least an ot8 set for the Japanese album, but it's only going to be one 
page. And I'm just going to pick out my favorite photo cards and collect them regardless of like the, if they're from the same album or the same set. We're just going to do one page of my favorite photo cards and just leave it at that because I do want to collect them. It's just really like the price and the availability that is like what holds me up. But that's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to try and do for their most upcoming release for the sound is I'm just going to try and collect one page of photo cards from that and just call it good. Hopefully that makes sense for that. So let me grab two pages for these new trading cards. And then I'll grab a couple of these eight pocket pages for now. I don't know how many I need. I'll just grab a handful. All right, so let's grab the sets here. Here's the first one. I don't remember which was the first, which one came first or second, but I'm not really gonna worry about it. I'm not gonna worry about it right now. They, they match pretty well. I feel kind of bad because I haven't been like closely as following all the stuff for this new Japanese release because I've been a di in a different headspace and my mind has been <laughs> somewhere else but I know that they were supposed to perform the sound for the first time tonight and I'm excited to hear that. We heard like the smallest of teasers for it the other day so I'm excited to hear the rest of it. I always think their Japanese title tracks are always the best, like All In. That is like one of the best Japanese title tracks <laughs> a group has ever had. That, that song is so good. So I'm excited to hear what the sound sounds like. <laughs> I'm like struggling with the sleeves right now. All right, cute. See, I think that those just look so nice in uniform. And because of the ninth card, I don't have to worry about, <laughs> I don't have to worry about um, making a filler for it, which is a win-win. Oh yeah, I forgot about those. Okay, I'll need a sec, I'll need another page here in a second. Ah, I almost forgot these as well. I'm telling you, my brain, my brain is just not here. So I also have these that were also gifted to me a long time ago. These were gifted to me by my friend and mutual. She asked me, she asked me one day if I wanted the bang trans that she had pulled and I was like, are you sure? She's like, of course. So, but I wanna make sure I store these because one, I'm very thankful that she gifted them to me, but also because bang chan, it's just gorgeous, gorgeous. And I actually ordered a third one so it'll fill up this pocket page so nicely. And I would have put this in my A5, but I figured this will help fill up my Japanese binder a little bit more. And also these just like fit so nicely in these three pocket sleeves. It just, or do they? <gasps> Okay, okay, they do. They're just a little tight. I was like, oh my gosh, my plan is completely ruined because these don't fit. Do they fit? Oh my gosh. All right, it fits. <laughs> it's just a little bit tight, but they fit in there. And just be, war be wary. That is a tight fit, but I think with time it'll, it'll loosen up a little bit. <laughs> but what? <laughs> There goes me eating my words there. Oh, it fits just right. Struggles to put it in, but all right. Yeah, so this third one, this is, it's not necessary, but like, where's a blank? Where's a blank filler? All of these have words on them. <laughs> I'll put this filler here until I get my third one in. But yeah, I wanted to store these in here. I love them so, so much. All right. 
Um, okay, let's work on the album cards and then we'll figure this out. So, I have my eight pocket pages here. We'll pull out the all-in photo cards. So, I guess... Okay, so I will, now that I'm actually looking, so these are concept, these are selfie. Do I try and find concepts? These are also from two different concepts, or like two of the different versions. Hmm. Man, I don't, I don't know what I'm doing with my Japanese collection. <laughs> I thought I did, but... Maybe I'll just put them in here. I'm for sure gonna collect one page of at least selfie photo cards for, per album. When it comes to concepts, we'll have to see. I think I'm gonna store these at least for now so they have a place to live and they're just like not flying around, but I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Don't really listen to me over here. <laughs> I don't know. Also, I want to sleeve these but the normal sleeve sizes they like stick out um from the top because they're not as long like see it like sticks out that much and I know that there are sleeves that will fit these I just can't remember what they are right now and obviously I don't have any on hand but ultra pro are pvc free so I feel okay storing them in here not sleeved for now but if you have sleeve recommendations that will fit these let me know because I've definitely seen them I just like can't remember what they are right now actually and that's not the order Han would go up here yeah because Hyunjin, <laughs> Hyunjin would be down here okay I also cut some fillers to size to throw in here <laughs> All right, <laughs> it's so funny that they have to be sideways, but I just don't like how they stick out at the top in a nine pocket, so we're just gonna do sideways for now. So let me take out this extra page because I don't need it for now. I could put in stuff for the sound, but I'm going to wait until I get those, um, kind of figure out what I'm doing. But for now, here's the small and confusing start to my Japanese photo card collection. Yeah, I think... Like I said, I'm definitely for sure going to collect at least one page of selfie photo cards. We'll figure out concepts later and whether or not I actually want to do that. But I think, I think, yeah, collecting one page of Japanese photo cards will make me happy and also not break the bank. For this unit, I'm just going to hold on to this. We'll, we'll put that away in a second. All right. Now, let's tackle these. So I need this nine pocket. We'll just put this here for now. This Japanese binder is kind of just gonna be a mess conglomerate. All right, so for this photo card full set, this was from a collaboration that they did with Furu. I'm just gonna put it on the screen because I, I definitely butchered that. But yeah, it was a collaboration that they did with them. And I think that this company is sort of like a gaming um, merchandise company. And they had like a campaign with Stray Kids where if you um, played, I think it was like a claw machine or you like you participated in their like campaign and you spent a certain amount, then you got like a random photo card. And I found this photo card set on Mercari for super cheap a while back. So I just picked it up because I thought it was cute. And again, I don't have a ton of like Japanese 
photo card stuff. So again, just another thing to, to fill this little small binder for now. I like have a hard time saying no to OT8 sets that I see for a really good price. So honestly, that's really the reason I have this is because I saw it for cheap and it was a full set and I was like, yep, let's just get it. <laughs> Plus, I think they're so cute, and they're like, it's like actually cohesive for once, so wanted to get it. Like, wow, that's such a cute little set together. Cute. All right. And then the last thing that is in this binder, oh, we have an extra nine pocket for some reason is this is my Stray Kids Cafe stuff. So I've had this since the cafe happened when, when was that, back in like 2021? So I have all the member postcard sets and then I have Chan's extra items um, from that. But I wanted to put in fillers and stuff for the missing sections here. All right, yeah, so I just uh, cut out some white pages and made fillers. So how the like, cafe worked is they had like online, I think it's been a long, long time. They had online merchandise that you could buy, like the postcard sets. Um, There's also like L, L holders that I also have, which I would love to store, but they don't fit in the, the sleeves that I have, so I can't put them in here. Um, but yeah, they had a few things um, that you could order online, and then some other things like this, like these extras, you actually got if you went to the cafe and like ordered certain things. So like, I think the coaster was like if you ordered a drink, one of these, like I think like the sticker was like if you ordered one of the desserts. There's like a random message card that you got. So I have Chan's. Anyway, so yeah. So what I did is because I have all the member postcards and they fit so nicely in these three pockets, I didn't want to separate them and put them into like four pockets or like two and two pockets. So because I already had Chan's message card, I made fillers for the other members' message cards. As you can see, they like the color doesn't really match, but... I think that's okay since these are like not real, but I went and found um, examples of what like the other members message cards look like and then I just um, duplicated them, like I just traced, traced it and printed them out. But yeah, I wanted to make them so that each of, each of these could have the members messages attached so maybe eventually I'll like reprint these so the pink matches a little bit better but I think for now this is this is okay because it differentiates like the real one versus the fake filler ones is anything that I'm saying right now making any sense like am I just talking into a void right now because that that's what it feels like I'm doing <laughs> honestly I don't know what I'm doing anymore <laughs> for now I am going to attach these to my blank fillers so they'll stay in place and I'm just using washi tape because I know this won't really leave damage to this. Cute. So it'll look like that and I'm just going to go ahead and do that for the rest of these really quick. Alright, so I got all those centered on the fillers, so we're just going to slide these in. See I think that just looks so nice, like it just completes each page because it has the the member's message. Also, these postcards are like the cutest thing. I absolutely adore these postcards. Like the little cream on their noses is so cute. I think it's also good to mention that this um, cafe and this event was happening 
during the the height of Hyunjin's hiatus so he wasn't included in this he didn't have any merchandise from this which makes me sad because you know homeboys would have been the cutest but yeah that's why that's why Hyunjin isn't here that's why I don't have his Like, oh, look at Felix. This is when he like first dyed his hair dark. Oh, cute. And now we're back to like light-haired Felix. Like we're we've come up full circle <laughs> all of a sudden. Cute. All right. And then I also made just fillers for these just so they would have something behind them, but I just used the same design that's on the backs of these. So I'm going to do the same thing where I'm just going to put these in the middle of these fillers. Cute! Ah, that looks so nice. So nice! Alright, so that is my Japan binder organized wow it feels so so nice to finally <laughs> finally have that ordered a little bit nicer i know i could totally just tack this on to like one of my many other binders but like i said my i know my japan collection isn't going to grow very much and i i kind of wanted to separate it out from everything else also so i don't go overboard in <laughs> japan stuff because i already go overboard in everything else so this this will be good for me and I as you can see it this is like not even filled at all like it we have plenty of room to grow in this small binder as is so let's just do a quick little summary flip through it looks so good with the postcards in here we'll figure out this situation <laughs> eventually this looks really nice and yeah, I'm happy to finally have these pages filled out. Oh, I am cute. All right. Whew. I'm glad. I'm glad to have that done. All right. Now we can move on to the A5 binder. All right. It's been a second since we've seen the A5. I'm excited to put some things into it today. And look at all the really pretty and cute paper that I found that's going to be for my fillers. I'm so excited. I recently went to the craft store and I talked about this on my Instagram. But um, I went and took these pocket pages of Chan photo cards to the craft store the other day so I could pick out the scrapbook paper that I wanted to use as fillers. And let me tell you, there is nothing more embarrassing in this lifetime than holding a full pocket page of little pieces of paper with a man on it and walking up and down a scrapbook paper aisle f multiple times during a 30 minute interval and having people stare and look at you while you do it. <laughs> I I wanted to crawl inside of a hole when I was done. The amount of people who like looked at me while I was like picking out paper and someone actually asked me what I was doing and I was like, please don't ask me to explain myself because I don't have an answer for that. <laughs> but I needed to take my pages and my cards with me because I was trying to color match and it's really hard to like color match things nicely if you don't have the physical thing with you. So I just bit the bullet <laughs> and brought it with me and it was just... I don't know, it was a funny experience, but it was also slightly traumatizing, and I posted about that. People had similar ideas, and it was so funny to read, but how how rare is it, though, to see my Chan PCs in full pocket pages like this? I never, ever see them like this. It's actually kind of fun to see them all together. But yeah, it's a rare occurrence to see my Chan PCs on one page but yeah like I said I need I needed I needed them 
on one page so I could color match. So I'm just gonna pull all these out really quick so we can add them to the stack. All right, that's a fat stack of cards in itself. But before we start to store these away, one thing I do wanna do is I wanna add this cute little charm that I got. I'll take it out and show you. But this was one of my Christmas stocking stuffers from my parents, was this very, very pretty Bang Chan keychain. And honestly, it's like such my style. It goes so well. The little sparkles are just like my everything. And I think it is going to be such a nice addition to my binder. I've been wanting a keychain for the binder for a while. And like, I think it's like the perfect aesthetic, like it matches so, so well. So thanks mom and dad, you know me too well. <laughs> I will actually link the Etsy shop that they got this from. So you can check them out. Very, very talented. Let me, I haven't even punched out the hole that's right here. All right, that took a little finessing of the X-Acto knife, but I got it. And then let's see if I can just clip this. Oh, cute! Cute. I might have to get like a longer chain for it, but I think it's cute. I think that'll work for now. I'm trying to like showcase like what it would look like if it was there. Cute! Okay. So actually, before we get started, let me let me organize this a little bit. Look at that fat stack we still have to put away. Let me organize this and try to put a little bit of reason behind all these really quick. All right, I have everything sorted out nicely so I don't have to take a lot of time and trying to figure out what it is I'm doing. Now, I have a sneaking suspicion that this binder is gonna be basically bursting. It's gonna be overflowed because as is, it's already pretty full. And if we're adding this many cards, I think it's gonna it's going to be at its limit. I think I'm going to have to get a second Chan binder. We're going to do a little bit of modifying as we put stuff away today. I'm going to be taking some things out, but I definitely think a new, or not a new, but like a second Chan A5 binder is in my future. So instead of like stopping when this gets to like max capacity, I think I'm just going to put everything in here today so at least you can see everything stored and then I'll worry about separating out the binder um, later when I get a second one ordered because I want to show you everything stored because I think it's sometimes a little bit frustrating when you watch like storing photo card videos and people like show you the photo cards they're gonna store and then they're like oh just kidding we're not gonna do that so I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna store everything just know it's gonna be a bit a bit full so all right so I need to put this sub K card back if I can find its spot. Um, actually, okay, wait. Yeah, so I need to put this back in here. And the reason I took it out is because I'm finally switching out these yellow fillers. I have hated these yellow fillers since I put them in because they did not match at all and they were so ugly. So I switched it out and I got this super pretty, I don't know if you can really tell through the sleeve, but I don't want to pull it out because it's like super chunky glitter paper and literally it goes everywhere. But yeah, I thought this was a better... A better substitution for the filler. It looks a lot nicer, a lot more luxe like the Chanel. Yeah, I already like that so much better. Here, I'm also gonna take, I'm gonna take this off too. 
And so there's that. Okay, here's where we're going to start to modify. So I kind of want to take out these photo cards because I think I kind of want to only store my Chan PCs in here or at least like full complete like four page set. So as you can see, I only have three of these. I have three of these. I don't even have chans of these. So for now, I'm just gonna like take these out. Well, I'm gonna take out the cards that aren't chan. I'm gonna put these somewhere else. I might put these in the new collect book or Loki, I've been thinking about getting another A5 binder that is like for all of my extra miscellaneous like palms and things that like aren't necessarily a part of a set and like that aren't chans. I don't know because like I don't want to get rid of these but I also don't think I want to get like a third member for these palms so then there's like a complete set. So, I don't know. I'm taking these out for now. I'm going to store them somewhere else in the meantime. But, yeah, we're making, we're just consolidating these down. Making a little bit more room in here. Alright, so I think for now, I'm, for now I'm just going to put all of my Christmas Evil things together. Well, let's switch this out so these two match because he's in the same outfit. And I'll put the lucky draw here. I don't know. This is a this is a temporary thing. We're just temporarily switching some things around. And then for these, I honestly I don't even really know if I want to collect the stay in playground. Pops, thinking about going and finding them is kind of a nightmare to me. I kind of don't want to do it. <laughs> so again, I'm just going to take these out for now. And we'll store them away somewhere else. For these, I... Oh, there's another chance to stay in Playground thing. So for Season's Greetings... I actually have, I bought some of the previous year's Seasons Greetings. So I had these two from 2020. These are 2020s. I have another one of 2020s. It sits on my shelf that I can put in here. And then I ordered two, or not ordered, but I bought two from 2021. They're just sitting in the Macari warehouse. So those will be added to this page. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put, this will just be a page of Polaroid Seasons Greetings stuff. And we'll just put some in somewhere else for now. But in the meantime, I'm just going to fill this up with fillers because this is going to be where I put my Seasons Greetings stuff. Yeah. And then, yeah, I'm just going to take these, I'm going to take these out as well. I think anything that's not in, like, a set or, like, has a pairing, I'm not going to put in this binder, even if it is Chan-related. So, yeah. I'm just trying to, like, organize this in a way that makes sense to my brain, which is just making sure everything has a set and a partner with each other. Alright, so there's that. And then yeah, I'm just going to take this out entirely. It just kind of lives here with no purpose. Okay. Alright, now we can actually put these back in here. I'm going to need these. I don't know why. I, I don't know why I took them out. Now let's get putting in the new stuff. So actually, we need to go back. I missed, yes. 
So I finally got my ooh, With Fans third round PC. And isn't this just like the cutest Channy PC? I love that he's in the all pink. I am still missing the round two. I'm gonna take this out though. I need to find the With Fans round two still. It's on my wish list, but for now, this will just be with fans round one and round three from No Easy. And then I picked this super cute pink glitter paper. I think this paper is so pretty and it matches so well with this. Like I, ma I mainly got it so it matches with this card. I feel like it doesn't match this card so much, but I couldn't find like this maroon color in like a glitter and as you can see i like was really into like the glitter paper <laughs> this time around so i may switch this so it like matches better for, for now we're going with this this pink color i don't know i think it's okay i think it's okay for now but i definitely i don't know maybe want to switch this to like a red or something but this is that's so cute that's pretty okay now this is all done now we can start on to all of the new stuff so i'm just gonna i'm just gonna should i just put all of these pages in for, for right now because we're gonna need them we're gonna use them all right just so we're prepared yeah as you can see this it's already stacked up quite a bit and there's not even cards in there all right, so our first little page, I'm gonna call these our miscellaneous <laughs> ordinary. So both of these have a pair card that I still need to get. The pair card to this is Shoppy, and then the pair card to this is Soundwave. And then this one is just like a totally lonesome card that's different, but I really like. So we're just calling this the <laughs> miscellaneous ordinary page until I get both of these card pairings partners and then I can put them on one page but I think for now for now this is okay for now this will work for the long I thought I could have sworn I had the sound wave of this and I looked and looked and looked and I like can't find it anywhere so I think I just imagined that I had it and I, I hope it's not lost somewhere but I, I'm pretty sure I didn't ever have it <laughs> All right, and then we have these. So this is the K-Town um, Pob. And then this was the With Drama Pob, him and his little blue hair. And I got this super pretty blue paper. I almost went with like a yellow or like a more neutral, but I thought the blue, the blue paper like was really striking with his hair. So I went with the blue. As you can see, I'm like super into the, like making sure the aesthetics of the A5 really go with each other. Because I usually like to put the pairing cards with one another. Because it just looks so nice that way. So there's that one. I still don't know what I should do with the backs. I feel like I shouldn't worry about trying to match the backs. Maybe I'll just like put like a black paper on this. But I try not to worry about the backs in these too, in the A5 too much, but I don't know. That does look kind of weird to me. All right, next are with fans round one and two from Ordinary. And I'm so glad that these like are like the same look and it's just like such a good pairing. And look, I found like this perfect teal paper. Oh my gosh, guys, I could talk about the paper I picked and just like how good everything's going to look together like for hours like oh my gosh is that is this not like the prettiest page oh my gosh i think i don't know there's something about like the glitter that really like amps it up <laughs> for me i'm like so excited about the glitter paper for some reason but i just think that, like this just looks so nice together it just looks so so pretty You know, if I spend the coin to get these photo cards, I might as well spend the coin to make sure it looks good in my binder. <laughs> but, alright, there's that. And then this is the both rounds of the Lucky Draw, also from Ordinary. And I, again, just have the chunky black paper again.
these these photo cards are so pretty I, th I don't know if it's like him in the blonde hair or him in the blonde hair with like all in black and neutral i don't know he just is so good looking all the time and then for this i found this really pretty like pale blue color i don't know it's not like the exact color match but i thought it was like close enough it was like within the same family and i i liked it and i didn't want to do like a silver or a black with these so i thought this was a nice a nice pick for this all right cute i'm already i don't know i'm i'm like obsessed with my mini binder like i just think that uh, it just looks so good to me. I need to figure out the back situation, but the front, the front makes me so happy. Okay, next, next I have all of his Maha Grid photo cards, round one through three. I'm hoping that they'll eventually do a fourth round so I can put that here and like fill out this page. That would be like the most ideal thing but yeah for now we just have these these are also very pretty the back of this third round though are oh yeah is this the third round yeah this is the third round let me switch these the back of this still throws me for a loop it's so much more different like stylistically it's so funny like where did the orange come from I don't know but yeah hopefully they'll do a fourth round so then this page will be complete all right next we're moving on to more recent stuff this is all maxident and the most recent merch things so okay <laughs> my two black signed Chenny photo cards <laughs> I decided to put these in here because I decided to keep them instead of trying to trade them away for the missing OT8 members I need for my set because I just couldn't bear to part with these and I could put them on display and maybe like I will eventually but I wanted to put them in a safe place and that safe place that I know of is in this binder. My two of three signed Maxident photo cards of Chan's and I did double sleeve this one well these in comparison to my other ones because it does have the signature on it I want to make sure it's nice and safe and protected there and then for this I just picked this this nice black glitter cute oh my gosh this makes me so giddy <laughs> just seeing these two together all right next we have these my precious precious broadcast pcs i'm very happy that i have my hands on these i really really this is the one that i really wanted to get a glitter for because they're so special and i was like the glitter will make like them on the page special but again, just like the other With Fans card, I like could not, there weren't any good red glitter papers that matched well with this like maroon background. The closest thing in just like even normal paper I could find is this red and like it doesn't match exactly but like it's close enough for now that I think it'll work but man I really want to find like a really nice maroon glitter paper for, for this spread because I think it deserves it because <laughs> these cards are so so special cute love that cute next we have these cards so this was the offline uh, lucky draw during the Maniac Soul concert and then this is a shoppy Maxident Pob both with the skeleton finger tattoo 
which looks so cool on Channy. And his little his little nose ring here too. Remember when he told us that was real? <laughs> and like none of us really believed it. And then yeah, and then for these, for the filler for these, I was gonna do black, but I felt like I was doing a lot of black fillers. So I picked up a, this like kind of like neutral white gold kind of paper and I think it I think it matches kind of well it matches this really well this I don't know but like I don't know for now I think for now I think this will work this is like a vibe I can live with yeah I was gonna do black again which maybe I'll eventually switch it out to black but I don't know I kind of wanted to like bright like keep some of the pages bright because I think dark like I think black sometimes darkens the page or like you know it's just color theory I'm like just really ba blabbling because I just am so excited about about these fillers and these cards but yeah anyway that's the color choice I made for this <laughs> and then this is gonna be another miscellaneous maxident page so this card has a partner it, I think it's the star river one and that's still on the way to me my go manager hasn't sent them out yet so when I get that this will be on its own page but then I have these two so this is the Aladdin photo card and then this is the Target exclusive so I don't know these these two like don't really go together but they also like don't really have like another partner I could put with them so I don't really know what I'm gonna do with them so I'm gonna keep them I mean what I mean is like I don't know how I'm gonna store them eventually so they're just going here for now on this miscellaneous page I will say I love this photo card of Chani for some reason like it just it's a I, I think it maybe it's the chest and just like his windblown hair don't know I really like it though so yeah so that's a miscellaneous maxident page for now um, these were the round one lucky draws. Again, both of these have partner cards that I'm eventually going to separate out. But for now, we'll just put them together. I don't think that these look bad on a page together, but there's two photo... They each have like another pop that is in the same look that I don't know I would rather have on one page altogether so that works for now all right now we're moving into the most recent merch item things so these are the pop merchandise cards from the most recent like stay in Jeju exhibit I got these recently you saw me get these in a haul and I picked out the same like white gold paper I thought it was I thought it matched nicely I like that page I think that will work together and then these are the daikon photo cards both from the full book like the big book and the mini book so what I decided is I'm gonna separate out these two cards and then these four cards because I really like these two cards together because he's in the same outfit and I thought that this pink paper oh my gosh I'm like dying already I thought that this was gonna look so cute together and these cards all like like I feel like these go together and these go together so they can be on their own page but yeah I wanted to separate out these because I think they're gonna look so good on this page together with this pink paper. Oh my gosh, I totally feel like I'm blabbling about nothing at this point. <laughs> I hope that you're entertained or like you just have this in the background as white noise. Because I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. Oh my gosh, I absolutely love that. That's like one of my new favorite pages. That's so pretty. I love that. Love, love. Okay, now let's put the other Daikon photo cards together. Oh, 
All right, and then the last couple of cards. Oh, I forgot about these. All right, hold on. We'll figure those out in a second. Ooh. All right, these are some of the trading cards from the Victory Pop-Up Store. I have all of Chan's, but the um, the other cards are going to go with the OT8 set that I have. But I wanted to put the remaining four here in this binder. <gasps> Wait, what? <gasps> Wait, I have two of these? Wait, when did I end up with two of those? Wait, so how many, how many in total, how many in total are there of these cards? Oh, yeah. Oh my gosh, I messed up. I'm missing one. And I think I got another one. I got a, another one of these by accident. Whoops. Well, that's good to know. <laughs> I'm missing, I'm missing this one. So I'm gonna have to find that one. Okay, well, we'll swap, <laughs> we'll swap this card in then for now. I can't believe I did that. I can't believe I got two of the same card. All right, well, we'll figure that out. <laughs> We'll figure that out later. <laughs> it just kind of shows like how similar these like these uh, set cards can be and how easy it is to get them mixed up. All right, that's okay. That works for now. And I forgot about these. So these are some no easy palms, but they don't really like go together. Like the vibes of these are so different. <laughs> Should I just put them on a page for now? Yeah, we might as well. Let's just put them on a page for now and I can figure out maybe if I want to store them somewhere else later. Where should I put them? I mean, this goes with this, but I don't know. I don't want to separate these lucky draws from each other. Huh. I'll just put it, I'll just put it here for now. I completely forgot about these. <laughs> Alright, well, I think that's good to call it there for today. Should we do a quick flip through? I'm only going to flip through to what we put in today. So we can see all the new layouts. Wow, I'm so happy with it. Oh my gosh, do you see? Do you see? Let's let's try and close it up to see. Yeah, that's pretty that's pretty full. That's pretty much at its limit. Like look at the front. <laughs> that's very much at its limit. Um so yeah, another Chan A5 binder is in my future. <laughs> Okay, last thing we're going to do is we're going to quickly set up this collect book and just put in some of the miscellaneous photo cards that I have in here. Alright, so the plan of this little collect book is this is where I just want to kind of store my one-off or two-off extra pops or photo cards I have of the other members that like don't fit anywhere else but I don't want to like get rid of and sell. I want them to like have a home. So I'm finally putting to use the collect book that came in the second generation fan club kit and thankfully the Stay in Jeju exhibit had another collect book so I have one of those on the way too. So if this gets filled up I have another one closely followed behind. I'm not really going to worry about the vibes too much for this. This is just going to kind of be a fun, a fun little thing to do. So yeah, I'm letting go of my like restraint a little bit here. I did want to point out the sleeves I'm going to be using for this is the popcorn sleeves. This is the size. They fit pretty well in here and this does have PVC in it so I don't want to 
put my cards in here without having a sleeve on it. So yes. All right. Let's quickly, let's quickly do, do this now. Let's, let's store these photo cards. I'm going to put this cute Channy in the cover because I thought the blue, I thought the blue matched. The reason I'm not putting this Channy in my A5 is because this is like, this like isn't my most favorite photo card, but again, I don't want to get rid of it. So we're putting it here. I think I'm just going to like treat the collect books as like, just like a, a catch all, a free for all where like, if I like a card, but it doesn't really go in any of my collections it's just gonna go in the collect book and i think that i think that's gonna work out well okay i'm gonna try and be like in frame as much as i can but due to the nature of collect books i am gonna be kind of like doing a lot of maneuvering of the book and the cards but we'll do we'll do a flip through at the end here so we can see everything I've been wanting to use this collect book since we got it like a year ago. I just, I just didn't have my things together. I mean, I don't really have them together now, but <laughs> I'm trying to get it together. I'm trying to, trying to get it together. These Daikon photo card sets are so pretty. So, so pretty. Some of my favorites from last year, I think. I decided that I'm going to put these in here too. The ones I pulled just now from the A5. So I might as well just put them in here. Until I figure out if I want to get like, I don't know. My collect book, I think, is, the, is also my restraint in getting like another million A5 binders. <laughs> so. All right, last card. I was gonna put these, um, these lucky draws in here, but I think they're just like a little bit too thick. Um, and I don't want to stretch out these pages, so I am going to hold off on putting these in here. So I'm going to have to figure out what I'm going to do for those. But this Felix Sub K card is going to be the last card for today. Voila. Yeah, I still have quite a fair amount of space left. That's good to know. That's good to know. I don't know if I would totally fill all of this up because I don't want it to be too bulging, but it's nice that I have some extra pages left over for now. So everything is in here now. There's kind of like what the thickness is looking like right now. Actually, not too bad. I thought it would be a little bit worse, but not, not too bad. I think it holds its shape still pretty well. Okay, let's do a quick flip through and then we'll wrap up for today because I know it's probably been a long one already. Yeah, I think this is so cute. I think this is a good solution for me for these extra photo cards I have. I think it'll also help me with not spending too because like initially I think I was gonna get like another A5 so I can get you know get more photo cards and fill up a set but if I just put it in here and like I see that this is filled already I like can nix that urge to want to spend more and get more cards. So we're trying to show a little restraint this year, <laughs> a little bit. We'll, we'll see how it goes. All right. Well, that's going to be it. I think this is going to be kind of a longer video. It took me a long time to film. So <laughs> I assume uh, it's going to be long, no matter how much I edit it. I think it's going to be long, but hopefully that's okay. Cause I know you guys have been really wanting another photo card storing video. But yeah, thanks for hanging out with me and letting me be a little bit more chill, chill today. I really did need this. This was a good distraction for me for a little bit. I feel, I'm feeling a little bit good. My mood has improved a little bit, which is what I've needed, especially after the last couple of days. But, but yeah, it was nice to just kind of chill out with you for a second. I, I hope that you got to chill out or you stored some photo cards with me, but yeah. 
I plan to have a few more of these rolling out in the next couple of weeks. Like I said, I want to have my binders organized and ready so I can do a full collection update. But in order to do that collection update, I need to do a couple more storing videos. So hopefully I can get those out to you in the next little while. Thanks for hanging out. I love you guys. I really needed it. Take care of yourselves, okay? See you next time.